Hi, I'm Ian, the Syntec Repair Guy. Um, so today I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of how to take off one of the transistors on the main board. And we'll also do a quick demonstration of how to take off and replace the capacitors on the display board. So uh, pretty much if you do both of these things and you do them correctly, then no matter what your issue was with the, with the 22HD, it should probably be working again. Uh, unless you have a very rare issue with the display uh, input, which I've only seen once, so it's not really a common thing. All right, so right now, so there's five of them in total. There's one, two, three, four. I've already replaced those, and I'm just going to do a quick demo with the last one on the back, Q1. So what I do is I take my hot air gun to remove it, I get it on there, it's pretty hot. I got it at 428, and I got my uh, my air setting at around six and a half. I don't know what exactly that means, but that's what it's at. So I heat it up, I jiggle it once in a while, see if it's loose with my, my curved tweezers. I like the curved tweezers. When it's ready, it'll just come right off. Sometimes you gotta go do one pin side, the other pin side. If you have a more specialized head, it's a little easier, but I tend to stick with this one because I go back and forth from doing these to doing the issue with the capacitors, and it's a little easier for the capacitors to do this. Uh, okay, it's almost there. Let's get there. So these are the FDS4435BZ transistors, and you can order them from DigiKey. If you're not in America, you can order them from I don't know what. Um, but around in America, at least, DigiKey, DigiKey, and Mauser, or directly from Alibaba in China, those are your options. All right, that side's loose. Got to get that side. That side got to heat up. There you go. So once you get that off, I just take it, that goes right in the trash. I'm going to go back over here, put my hot air gun down, just to make sure I'm not going to damage the new one. I then do the rest of this with a soldering iron. Right now it's at 437. I'm going to take a little piece of wick. I'm going to take the soldering iron over here. We're going to put the wick right on it. Dab the wick with a little tiny speck of solder to get it flowing. And then just kind of go right over the pins with the wick. And just suck up any solder that was there. That gives you a fresh clean surface. Then to get the new transistor, I got it right here fresh on the reel. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to take it, there's a little circle on it that's in one of the corners and that circle is going to line up with the dot on the board. So we're going to move it over here. So little circle, little dot, it's in the right direction. Line up the pins as good as you can. The most important one is the little pin that you can see. You can see that the circuit board is all connected internally here and then it's connected internally here. There's one pin that's pretty separated. So you want to make sure that one is about is, is the most well positioned pin. Um, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on the opposite side, the side where the four pins are all connected. I'm going to glob up my soldering iron ahead of time, get a nice big glob on there. I'm going to hold down my chip and I'm just going to really quickly put a little tack blob. It's going to look not so pretty, but there's a little tack blob there. That's going to hold it in place so I don't have to worry about it jiggling. Then I'm going to go to the other side and get my lighting a tiny bit better. Is that too bright? I can lower it a little if that's too bright. Yeah, I need to close it up. Is that good? Mm -hmm. All right. So then I'm going to then I'm going to take the three side. I'm just going to quickly 
blot that with some quick solder. Boom, that's all done. See, they're all together on the board, so it doesn't matter that there's a big glob. This last one's all on its own, so I'm going to be pretty quick and careful. And that is nicely done and nicely separated. Then we go back to the side that we tacked. And we just glob it up. Nice big glob. Nice and safe. Try to do it as quick as you can. Don't want to heat up the internal components too much. Alright, so that is how you replace that component. And then we're going to move on to a quick... You can stop that and we're going to move to a quick separate demo.